Okay, here's part three of my eye tutorial, eye rigging tutorial. Um, here's several eyes that I've made with the same exact rig. Um, just a male eye, a female eye, um, simple cartoon eye with no color, and an animal eye. Animal, humanoid creature, whatever. And you can see here's some of the animations that I've made with uh, that this rig. Um, and I will show you how to make eye poses. It looks complicated, but it's pretty easy since everything's rigged to bones. Um, we'll go back to frame one. And I'm going to use the translate tool. Um, on frame one, I'm clicking the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid because you need to have a start frame. Otherwise, you get that uh, weird. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, jittering if you uh, don't create start frames. So we have a start frame for where those bones are going to be. Then we're going to make them blink. And I have separate bones for these lines instead of how I had on the uh, tutorial, just so they're a little bit more independent. I'm going to select the first frame, copy, and paste it so we get an exact uh, blink. Um, the position, start and finish position are exactly the same. Um, and then I can copy these and I can put them anywhere else in the time timeline and paste them. So we have a couple blinks right here. And again, always you always want to start or have a uh, start keyframe when working with bones or anything like that. So again, with the translate tool, I'm just going to click on the eye and then move a few frames down and then move it to the uh, left and maybe go back at the same time I'm going to go to this, this frame again click the uh, eyebrow bone and I want it to move exactly uh, the same amount of frames as by movement so I'll move it down and uh, I might even rotate it so I'll give it a start uh, rotation on the same same frame. You have to have a start frame and then an end frame. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay. Now what you can also do is if you create a really long animation, <clears throat> you can actually just animate one eye like this, and, or this is what I do. And after I've created this, you know, the blinking and the he looks over, I will um, animate one eye and then I'll actually just go to frame zero, click on the animation I've made and duplicate it. And that just creates a duplicate animation also. So with the layer selected, I will pick my um, duplicate I and flip it and move it to the side and then you have an animation for both eyes or two eyes now the problem is when I move it to the left or right obviously it looks kind of derpish so um, to fix that we'll go to our start frame of when the eye is actually moving we'll uh, click the start position and then and the end position instead of being over here oops we will uh, oh man let me make sure I select the right bone start position end position let's look over this way so you're not so crazy now let's see what it looks like so we got a couple blinks and there we go he looks to the uh, left so um, Hope this tutorial helps anybody that uh, wants to learn how to make eyes. And that's it.